by the second half of the 16th century, the major bloodlines which sit on the thrones of Britain and Europe today were already established. One of the most vicious crowned killers was Tsar Ivan IV of Russia. His mother fell foul of one of the most common forms of royal assassination. She died of poisoning when Tsar Ivan was just eight years old. The young Tsar took great advantage of his royal will, what Alistair Crowley described as the royal philema, a Greek word for willpower. All monarchs can exert their will and decree any act, even murder and rape, and act above the law. When he was just nine years old, Tsar Ivan started torturing animals. This is a practice which is continued in ritual form amongst initiates of the Ordo Templi Orientis, a secret Masonic academy previously headed by Alistair Crowley. By the age of 10, Ivan, Tsar of Russia, would personally oversee the torturing of so-called political prisoners. These were people who had merely been critical of his power. He committed his first rape at the age of 11. He was crowned in 1547 and diverted public attention away from their own abject poverty by entering into war with Poland and Lithuania. Tsar Ivan took thousands of prisoners and personally supervised their torture, often devising the most wicked torture techniques himself. Tsar Ivan positively relished the screams of people as they had their eyes torn out. Women and even children were disemboweled, mauled by wild bears for his amusement, and people had parts of their bodies cut off and fed to his dogs whilst they roasted alive on a spit. Ivan also threw children into freezing lakes and rivers, and by 1569 he had extended his royal fortunes and property with 60,000 people having been brutally murdered, many by his own hands. popular secret societies in Victorian London was the Golden Dawn. Amongst its membership taking part in magical ceremonies was the author Bram Stoker. His most famous novel is Dracula. The vampirish nature of royal killers is renowned throughout history. Bram Stoker studied the career of psychopath Prince Vlad Dracul, who ruled Wallachia in the 15th century. Dracul means dragon. Prince Vlad was initiated into the royal court of the dragon by his father, which launched the young prince on a bloodthirsty sadistic career, which saw him employ every form of torture and even force political prisoners to eat each other. Prince Vlad took the greatest sadistic pleasure in watching women eat parts of their own children, or husbands eating their own wives.
every British and European monarchy has a history of murder by a brother, cousin or wife. Even royal mothers have killed their own children. King William II of England was murdered by his own brother who became King Henry I. In her fascinating book, God of the Witches, published in 1933, historian Margaret Murray revealed that King William II was a pagan warlock and had most probably been murdered as part of a ritual sacrifice to nature spirits who were invoked in order to assist the wicked royal dynasty of Britain. Pagan holidays, such as the equinox and solstice, play an important role in the royal calendar. In fact, the current heir to the British throne, Prince William, the son of the murdered Princess Diana, was cut from Diana's womb on the summer solstice, a date which has important occult significance. The reason given for the Caesarean surgical birth was that William was delivered timely so that Prince Charles would not have his royal engagements disrupted by the prince's birth. One of Prince Charles's royal antecedents was the cruel Angevin dynasty. Their offspring sat on the thrones of England and also ruled the illegally captured kingdom of Jerusalem. One of the Counts of Anjou returned from the Crusades with a new wife. The so-called Crusades were perpetrated with the assistance of the Knights Templar. Thousands of Islamic men, women and children were tortured and butchered whilst the Knights Templar ransacked holy places and slaughtered in the name of Christ. They were searching for ancient Kabbalistic texts whilst practicing a form of black magic invoking spirits according to the teachings of King Solomon. Some Templars eventually confessed that rituals were often held where spirits were invoked and commanded to speak through shrunken, severed heads called Baphomets. returned to Europe with a mysterious wife he had met during the Crusades. She was crowned Queen Melusine and became known as the Devil's Daughter. Her children seeded the famous Angevin monarchy of Europe who became famous for their violent tempers. One descendant of Melusine 
the devil's daughter, was King Henry II of England, who imprisoned his own wife for many years. <laughs> 